City Saturday came back for a fourth time to Cornell. Have you been to our event before in the past? If you need proof that a lot more grows up north apart from the pine trees and petunias, ask Debbie Scallion, the event's organizer. There are people who grow watermelon in the caribou. Now that is phenomenal to me, that they have cultivated over time um, a seed that grows quickly and, and abundantly and deliciously in the caribou. It gets awesome. We have master gardeners who have been gardening in the Quinell caribou region for over 30 years. Collectively, we have a millennia of, of uh, experience. A free family event, CD Saturday is here to help people learn about gardening and how to successfully grow their own food. They can find out um, everything from the very, very basics to the most complex um, ideas and, and concepts with respect to, um, to seeds, genetically modified organisms, um, heritage seeds. Uh, what is soil fertility? What does that mean? And you can learn from experts like Jesse Matthews. Jesse took a city lot and turned it into this. We started by stripping that lawn off right away and we put in uh, some raised hugel culture beds and we're just trying to maximize the production in a small space. But Jesse's not free of the challenges that most gardeners in the north face. Here's how he overcomes most of it. You can protect your early seedlings with um, like a cloche, which is just a plastic cover, kind of a mini greenhouse over the seedlings. Um, use a mulch because a mulch layer is going to help regulate the temperature in the soil. If it's really hot out, it's going to keep the soil cool. And if it's really cold out, it'll allow a bit more warmth in the soil. So why is CD Saturday a special day for Jesse and the others here? Yeah, fungi. You know what fungi are? They're the ones that make mushrooms. You know how we like to eat meat? Well, the microbes get their protein, which is what we get. I think it's really important that we, especially the young kids, get connected with where food comes from and um, how to even grow it. Like, generally, I'm sure the kids will be able to plant seeds here and they'll take that home and it'll germinate and then it's going to turn into a plant that will give them something that nourishes their body, right? And just connecting kids with the whole process of growing food, I think, is truly ideal. And I have kids myself and that's why I want to show my support. Our, our group is called the Qtan Collective Society and we have all kind of come together in this community because we have a really passionate interest on sustainability, on um, educating about health. So we have sort of long-term goals of, of bringing more types of events like this to the community um, on a seasonal basis. Check out the Qtan Collective Society on Facebook. In Quinell, I'm Anand Chandy for Shaw TV.